Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a toggle sprint script so you can let players sprint in your game. So the first thing you're going to need to do is insert a local script into starter player scripts. As you can see here, I already have it inserted. So you're just going to follow along with, the, with what I write. Local UIS equals game golden get service user input service. Type that wrong. Next. We're going to say uis.inputbegin colon connect function key gp if not gp then if key.keycode is equal to enum.keycode dot and this is where whatever you wherever you put whatever you want your sprint key to be say I want it to be q put q e left control I'm going to leave it as left control. Then, what we're going to do is say, we're going to go over here to our explorer and replicate storage. We're going to hit the plus button and add a remote event. Then, what we're going to say is game.replicate storage colon fire server. I mean, game.replicate storage dot remote event colon fire server. And then, what we're going to do is go excuse me, to server script service, insert a new script. So hit the plus sign, insert a new script. Then in here you're going to write game.replicate storage dot remote event dot on server event colon connect function player. Now we're going to say local character or well, local hum equals player dot character dot humanoid. Now we're going to say if hum dot walk speed is equal to 25, then hum dot walk speed equals 16, else hum dot walk speed equals 25. So the 25 you change to however fast you want your character to move. If it's a bigger number, they'll move faster. If it's slower, they'll walk slower. 16 is your default walk speed. So if you want them to move faster than walking, put it above 16 if you want it to be like a slow motion. So press the key and they walk slower. Put the number lower than 16. So we'll test this out right now. This might take a minute because usually my studio loads kind of slow when I'm streaming or recording. So this should work once it loads. And then I'll show you quickly how to add a cooldown. Alright, so if we press control, seems like nothing. Okay, so connect is not. So I had a typo there. What happens all the time? If you if your code ever isn't working and you want to figure out what's wrong, you can click your view and then open up your output and it'll bring this to show you what's wrong and then this little red will show up. You click it. Sometimes it'll bring you to the error. It'll tell you what the error is. Sometimes it'll bring it to you. Sometimes it won't. You can see it says I spelled connect wrong. So right here, we'll on connect function. So now we'll test it again. It should work this time if that was the only issue. I hope it was. If not, we'll just go back and fix whatever the new issue is.
taking a minute to load. My studio is usually very slow when there's recording. Okay, so once you're loaded in, press control, you can see we sprint. Still press it again, we stop sprinting. So that's it for this video. That's how you add a control or toggle sprint function to your games. I hope you all enjoyed and found this useful. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below of what sort of video I should do next. I'll see you all next time.